As uh, mentioned, I will be uh, presenting two studies, uh, 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 one done in 2018, uh, just before the first batch of senior high school graduates left uh, school, uh, which was about April 2018. And uh, that one will uh, be asking about what uh, that time, what were the uh, perspective in terms of getting employment, what was their experience in senior high school, and, and things uh, like those. And at the same time, we also ask the, the uh, human resource officers of uh, firms, what did they think about uh, the senior high school graduates in terms of their employability? And uh, uh, that's last year, uh, after about uh, the data that was available to us is eight quarters after the first batch graduated, we look at the data and what, how, and then examine the, how this, uh, uh, the senior high school graduates are faring in the labor market. So that's the background of the two studies. And I'll be presenting this uh, one after the other. Okay, next slide, please. So this is the first study. And I'd just like to say that whatever I say in this particular study was one uh, gathered in around uh, 2018 where the, uh, uh, for school years 2017, 2018, okay. So next slide, please. So just to remind ourselves about uh, the uh, the enabling law of uh, the of uh, the key to twelve reform or, or R eighteen ten fifty three. It is uh, besides uh, introducing the senior high school program, there are a lot of profound changes uh, contained in the law, uh, including uh, 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 compulsory uh, in the, uh, or universal kindergarten, uh, as well as the introduction of the mother tongue-based uh, multilingual education. So that's that's those are the, that's that's how uh, uh, revolutionary that law is in terms of basic education. It, it contains a lot of the reforms, uh, including the senior high school. Next slide, please. So since we we are looking at the uh, uh, we, are, we were talking to to uh, a senior high school who are about to graduate. We asked about the uh, the curriculum and the competencies that supposed to be the uh, that are supposed to be formed during that time, and 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 the types of jobs that the senior high school are expecting after graduation, as well as what are the private sectors. Uh, perspective in terms of the available jobs for senior high school graduates as well and look at some of the uh, issues uh, by matching the two perspectives uh, in the study. Next slide, please. So the research design and methodology includes uh, uh, get uh, focus group discussion to get the perspective of senior high school graduating students. We did 27 uh, focus group discussions uh, in 18 schools, 12 of which are public and six are private. And uh, besides their perceptions on what uh, work they expect, the question also included their school experience, particularly work immersions. To get the views of private schools, we did uh, key informant interviews with uh, human resource officers of 26 private firms in NCR, Calabar Zone, uh, Region 4A, and, and, and Cebu. Uh, the questions for the firms include uh, work immersion experience for those who have hosted uh, senior high school uh, graduating students, as well as their perception about the employability of, of senior high school graduates. Then we did uh, secondary data analysis of, of uh, data from the Department of Education on grade 12 students. And finally, we did a distribute of the uh, guidelines and implementation, particularly of uh, work immersion. And uh, finally, we uh, we also look at the the hiring uh, guidelines of the uh, civil service commission, uh, or because that 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 we found out that there are some issues there in terms of when we when we interviewed local government units, they find some restrictions because of the existing uh, hiring guidelines of the civil service commissions. Next slide, please. 
So this is the, uh, just to remind ourselves and uh, put us on the same page, uh, this is the uh, structure of the basic education system. So you have kinder grade to grade six for elementary and for junior high school, besides the core courses, there is a uh, exploratory TLE uh, for grade seven and eight and specialized TRA, TLE uh, for uh, grades nine to 10. But for senior high school, you see the tracking there already. Uh, this includes eight core uh, learning areas uh, and uh, the four tracks of academic, uh, technical, vocational, and livelihood, as well as uh, sports and arts and design. So that's that's how, uh, and this one ends with a work immersion uh, call, uh, for uh, some culminating activity, however it is de that defined, and or our research uh, uh, that the students will complete uh, at the end of their senior high school. Uh, next slide, please. So the uh, this is the structure of the enrollment, and then you, you, you see during, during that time and the, the school year six, 27 to 70 to 18, we have about 2.7 million students then, 1.2 million of which are grade 12 students, and 50, 52% are uh, in public or deped schools, and 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 uh, there are. Uh, 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 11,000 schools uh, uh, and and about 58% uh, of, of which are are deped schools as well. So that's that's the structure of the enrollment during that time. Next slide, please. Another thing that I'd like to to highlight is that uh, during that time, the the most popular. Uh, strand that's being offered is uh, GAS, uh, the general academic, and uh, and followed by TVL. Uh, by uh, that time, we didn't have a breakdown of the TVL, so we just lump as one. Uh, so that's, that's the two most popular uh, uh, strands in, 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 in senior high school then. Okay, so that's the one of the uh, uh, features of the of the enrollment of the of, of senior high school at that time. Next slide, please. So this is the uh, outcomes towards the end. So you have a, a very high uh, 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 graduation rates of 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 the like ninety six percent of of the of the. Uh, Senior high schools uh, completed their programs, but one of the other things in this slide that I'd like to highlight is this: that uh, uh, then uh, already about seventy-five percent of the senior high school graduating students says that uh, uh, they will continue to college. So that's about uh, for, and it doesn't matter what uh, whether you're academic. Uh, that's seventy-five percent, and or even for TV, that's seventy-six percent. So that's about three quarters of them plans to to uh, to continue on uh, continue with their studies. So that's that's, that's basically uh, the, what we got from the students. Next slide, please. Uh, so here, let me try to summarize the highlights of the of the experience of the students. So uh, the slide tells us that uh, convenience or proximity and continuity of junior high schools as, as, as the major reason why they're choosing a school. And, and for the track, uh, it's uh, individual preference, advice of parents, advice of, of peers are, is the other uh, other uh, reasons for selecting a track. Next slide, please. And uh, in terms of their uh, senior high school experience, students reveal that the their enjoyment in the on the subject is dependent on the teacher's effectiveness. So basically. Uh, if the teacher is good, they enjoy the subject. If not, if not, then they don't. So basically, that's what, how they assess it. And the students appear to be slowly tracking themselves, uh, saying that the importance of a subject to them is determined by the by its relation to the track or strand that they are enrolled in. Some even said that subjects outside their specialization uh, should not uh, should be taken up in junior high school or not at all. This is uh, I find this worrisome. Uh, if they meant that uh, those are not related to the track are the core courses, because the core courses are actually general education courses that were just moved moved from college to senior high school. 
and, and this is worrisome to me because three fourths of them are pursuing the college, so they are tracking themselves into into, and they don't find uh, perhaps core courses as important, and and uh, they even say that they should not be taught and move to junior high school, but when in fact um, the general education program of of the of college has been moved just to junior high school at by design, so that's 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 the the other thing that. Uh, uh, the I, we 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 got is that the the student appreciated uh, that the senior high school has helped them firm up their decision on what uh, on going for college and which career to pursue. So that's 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 how the, I found out that that's the the impact of the tracking to them. It, it helps them uh, whether they like uh, this kind of profession or not. And and the challenges uh, include uh, uh, lack of materials. Remember that this is the beginning of the employment of the implementation. So lack of learning materials uh, and facilities, uh, dissatisfaction with class um, and curriculum management and teaching quality. So those, those are the, the major uh, uh, challenges that they mentioned. Next slide, please. Uh, so in terms of prospects for enrollment, so what, we, what, what, what caught our attention is that, that the students don't, uh, lack the confidence in terms of their employability is highlighted in the discussions. And uh, uh, the the somehow I have this idea that the employers uh, will consider educational qualification and being a senior high school graduate is not a, 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 good, a very good uh, background educational background. Of course, we know that they will the employers will need technical skills, including soft skills and atti work attitude as 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 uh, as uh, characteristic that of employable uh, graduates. Uh, and they expect that they will land in, in, in clerical jobs or service and sales or elementary occupations. Uh, most of them, as, as already mentioned, uh, 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 prefer to pursue higher education because uh, of uh, it raises employment opportunities as well as uh, salaries. Next slide, please. Uh, the prospect of, uh, as we already said that uh, the, the half, uh, most of them are going to college, and I think they, they said that the free tuition in issues and LUCs are helping in their decisions, although it's not a critical factor. They are even expecting that there will be a uh, more stringent requirement going to college because of the competition. Uh, there's a, 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 uh, the, the strand selection that the, are determined by, the, the, by their calculations about uh, employment opportunities. And uh, they expected that, that the, those who are off track will be, will be doing bridging programs and, 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 and that's somehow the, their fears uh, during that time. Next slide, please. For firms, uh, majority of the firms are said that they are willing to hire a senior high school graduate, but give, give some conditions, conditions including competencies, as well as work immersion experience, and, and that, that they can offer only low rank positions. And the, for government positions, uh, the, the, it was already mentioned that the CEC regulations seems not updated to include, uh, the, there's no clarification of what senior high school graduates mean. Is it uh, grade 10 or grade 12? And, uh, uh, and uh, we, there is no differentiation between uh, graduates of senior high school and junior high school. So next slide, please. So uh, the other thing that they mentioned is that define the practicum too short, and 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 uh, there's a confusion between completion and graduation. Basically, this is a confusion between junior high school and senior high school, and that's that's the that's the uh, perception of firms. Next slide, please. So this table summarizes the 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 recommendations, uh, for example, in uh, firms who are reluctant to uh, 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 hire senior, high, senior high school graduates, uh, we thought that uh, uh, the firms wanted to have an in-depth knowledge of what senior high school programs uh, uh, provide. So, so essentially, it's a, in, in, we thought that this is an information campaign that uh, we should be doing and raising awareness on what kind of competencies the senior high school uh, provide. Uh, uh, most per, uh, firms perceive senior high schools are not work ready. So uh, the, the basic reason for that is that they define the 80 hour work immersion as not, uh, as not uh, uh, enough uh, to, uh, to get the, 
uh, work attitude or to develop work at, uh, proper work attitude. So the the one thing that's that the work immersion should be managed uh, well so that the students are placed in, in, in relevant work immersions. And uh, the other thing that uh, we find is that the, the most seniors are not confident. Uh, so basically the firms believe that, uh, uh, the students I said say, believe that the firms still prefer college graduates than senior high school graduates. So this is again a, a information, uh, awareness uh, campaign that you have to do and uh, we should uh, uh, improve the arrangements for uh, taking of the national competency, competency assessment so that we can have provide some certifications of what we can do uh, next slide please this is the last set of uh, uh, so uh, this is the same tone of, of about uh, uh, employers uh, offering elementary occupations for senior high school graduates, and there's even this, we already mentioned about LGUs being restricted by CEC regulations about uh, what high school graduate means. So that, that has, so we already mentioned that, and, and I think even Marina has, uh, 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 has the same problem, uh, LGUs has that, that, that problem. So that, that should be uh, treated to even government maybe was not prepared during that time to 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 uh, welcome uh, senior high school graduates into the, into employment. So uh, the other, the finally, this uh, that we would that we have to really appreciate that uh, most of our uh, senior high school graduates are not going to work, but uh, are, are are going to college. So that uh, we uh, the the teaching of the core courses should be beef up in order to address that 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 concern that they are. Most of them actually, uh, as we will see in the next study, uh, are going to college. Uh, next slide, please. I think this is the this is the last one for the first study. So let me go now to the to the second one. And uh, so here uh, we already uh, we mentioned that the employment and the entrepreneurship are identified as possible except for senior high school graduates. Uh, uh, when and when it was introduced. Next slide, please. Um, so the objective of this study is how uh, describe the labor market outcomes of of the senior high school graduates. So after graduation, I, we track uh, senior high school graduates in the labor market by looking at the labor force uh, survey and compare them with their peers. The peers that we used here are junior high school graduates as well as uh, second year college. Uh, next slide, please. So. Uh, that's what I mentioned, and and we we did some uh, uh, proper way of uh, to ensure that there will be a, a, a mangoes to mangoes comparison. We match them together based on characteristics. This is basically what is described in the in the methodology that we did just just we did not just compute the averages, but we match them before we com we compare them so that they were of the same uh, characteristics. Uh, uh, before comparing them, uh, because the characteristics can create differences in terms of uh, preferences for work and what have what have you. So, the that's that's the, this is basically what this uh, 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 saying saying uh, this this slide is saying. Okay, next slide, please. So, uh, the matching variables that we use are uh, sex, for instance, and household uh, personal characteristics like sex and Household characteristics like location of residence, uh, the household size, the, the education of parents, as well as the age of parents. The same thing for uh, the other variable, the other methodology. There are two methodologies that are being used simultaneously to, to get the matching uh, better. And as I've said, to get a mangoes to mangoes comparison. Okay, next slide, please. So this is the data that we used. Uh, we used the LFS survey from October. Uh, July, uh, remember that uh, the first graduates came out in April. Uh, so in July, also a quarter after, uh, in 2018, and about eight quarters later, up to the last, towards the beginning of the pandemic, uh, we have data uh, uh, thanks to the uh, PSA uh, that shared us the data. We were able to do channel. So, what kind of outcomes are we looking at? So, look at labor force participation, employment, underemployment, work hours. Basic pay, proportion working, a, working proportion working in, the, in wage and salary work, and and proportion who are self-employed and proportion who are in industry. 
So that's that's the that's the uh, outcomes that we look at to compare uh, labor market outcomes. Okay, next slide, please. The other thing that we we were careful about is that uh, we can't be including everyone who is enrolled. We just limited it to 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 a, a specific uh, uh, group of cohorts that we thought that uh, will be in in the senior high school program. So that from the data that we we look at, this is this is uh, this includes children uh, 15 to 20 years old uh, uh, in the data set. We did not include the one in for 14, even if there's a, a, a large number of them, because uh, uh, 14 is not considered a, a legal uh, a working age in, in, in the labor force survey. So that's not, so that's about, takes about 86% of the total uh, enrollees in, in senior high school. Uh, next slide, please. So this is the uh, descriptive statistics. So that's, we're trading about 7,000, 7 to 9,000 per quarter uh, 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 re respondents. And so that's about 61 or 62,000 all in all in eight quarters. The next table that I'd like to to uh, highlight is this. So basically the one in, in, the, in the bottom, which tells you the, 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 the at school attendance rates of, of the cohort. Uh, it tells you right away that 75%, indeed uh, the, the Children who, were, who we interviewed uh, said almost three quarters of them say are going to college. Are going to college essentially. So that's for for uh, that's for grade 10, 75 percent. For grade 12, that's 77 percent. And for second year college, that's that's uh, for, uh, that's 84 percent. So that basically uh, what this table is telling us is that the they made good with their plan that they will be going to college rather than. Uh, going to the labor market. Okay, next slide, please. This is a summary of the uh, labor market outcome. So what this is saying is that about for uh, uh, grade 10, about 22% are in the labor force. Uh, and for grade 12, that's 23%. And for second year college, that's 16%. So uh, among them, there's, there is uh, saying that 84% are employed. Uh, for grade 10, uh, eight, 79 percent are employed for grade 12, and uh, 81 percent are employed for second year college. So like, for example, the basic pay will be about 300 daily pay for for uh, uh, for grade 10 is 302, uh, for grade 12 is 316, and for second year college that's 397. So that that's that's the that's the that's the structure that you can get and. Uh, 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 68% of grade 10 are, are are in wage and salary work, and 69% uh, for grade 12, and 69 as also 69% for a uh, second year college. So that's basically the the rough uh, averages that you can get from labor market outcomes of of uh, of of the cohorts that we are looking at: grade 10, grade 12, and second year college. Next slide, please. This one tells you about uh, just graphing to you the, the the patterns of movements of the outcomes across the uh, eight quarters. So, for instance, the 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 first graph on the right left top left is saying that the the labor force participation of, of senior high schools is increasing towards the rate, although most of them dropped by by the time when the uh, at the approach of the of the pandemic uh, and and the the employment of, of 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 grade ten is flat, uh, uh, and so and and the employment of uh, college uh, second year college is going down. So it's that's that's uh, the, so that's that's what this graph is, is trying to tell you. So basically, uh, the pattern. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this one tells you hours, basic pay, and and. Uh, in in wage and salary workers and self-employed and in industry so that's that's the that's the uh, story of these graphs next slide please now let me try to uh, discuss uh, how did we assess uh, the 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 labor market outcome so basically uh, this table tells you that uh, when you have a higher labor for participation that's uh that's a plus so that's the arrow moving upward 
uh, when you have a higher employment net, that's also a plus. Uh, when, uh, so are uh, moving forward when you have a lower employment rate that's that's uh, that's a desired outcome as well you have, you have to, uh, you need more lower uh, and underemployment rate okay and uh, for visible unemployment also uh, you, you want that down for work hours you want more work hours for them and for wage rates of course you want high wage rates and in the, the the last three or maybe are controversial for some people but let me just try to say what you are, what I'm looking at so in, I, if you have a uh, in wage salary worker that's a plus uh, an increase of that's a plus because of uh, more stable income uh, and and, and uh, for self employment that's a uh, that's a that's a, a negative because of, of less stable income and in industry that's a plus because uh, on average the labor market is saying that the the average wage in industry is higher okay so that's that's the that's the the explanation of this table I'm trying to show you how to how I assess the the whether there's a positive or negative effect in, in the labor market of being senior high school uh, and their peers. Next slide, please. This is the heart of the result. So this basically its column is an is an equation and it is summarized here. So let me try, try to walk you through the, how to read this table. So basically in the left and the uh, second column tells you in NLF is in the labor force, tells you that grade 10 compared to grade 12, you have 8.6% 8, 8 uh, higher employ uh, labor force participation rate. Uh, compared to second year college, uh, second year college have lower uh, employment rate by 7.5%. The average actually employment rate in data, uh, that's the analysis about 19.6% uh, for this group. Uh, for uh, employment, you have a uh, higher uh, for grade 10 by, by 5.7 or 6%. And uh, for uh, compared to college, the college uh, enrollment rates have, uh, uh, have higher, uh, is higher by 5.0 or, or, or 6%. So that's, that's, that's how you read the table in Sensory and the, the average is about 78% enrollment rate. So that leads me right to, so maybe you're not, uh, this is not renewable anyway. I'll try to summarize it in, 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 in pictures. And the next slide, please. So what actually is the result? This is the, the, uh, the second column is the desired one, the same as the first mentioned earlier. You see the highlighted one, you, that the, the only thing that uh, the senior high school is, is performing better than, the, than uh, grade 10 is in, uh, in, base, is in wages. They have a higher wages uh, compared to, but all the rest of the, uh, uh, according to the way I an analyzed it, all the rest uh, they are not performing better than 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 grade ten uh, graduates. But compared to senior uh, to two year college, you have seen more uh, actually. Like for example, they have more labor force participation uh, uh, compared to second year college, and we have uh, lower underemployment rate. They have more hours work. More of them are in wage uh, uh, salary work, and uh, less of them are in and self being self-employed, and more of them are in industry. So basically, so the, you see that uh, uh, it's not it's, it's not clear how you will compare. You just see that there's uh, in some aspects it's, it's better, in some, in other aspects it's not. So uh, I, I've not wager into uh, parametrically saying whether it's good or bad. But so what I, the next slide summarizes this. Uh, Next slide, please. Basically, what you are saying is that only 20% of our senior high school graduates enter the labor force. And 70%, more than 70% of them continue with their education. And there's a mixed uh, labor market outcomes, uh, uh, which does not really show, from my perspective, whether there's a clear advantage or disadvantage compared to uh, junior high school graduates uh, and uh, the second year uh, uh, college completers should be college okay sorry and uh last slide next slide please just to give you a summary so basically what we are trying to say we maybe we need to re-examine our employment entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial objectives at least of course we already know that we we only ha are happy with 20 percent uh, because as we, as we already said most of them are going to college so we better prepare them for college because most of them are going to college and 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 that should be the 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 uh, so how we would uh, promote employment and employment should be should have this information. The other one is that there's some labor market outcomes 
up to this time, up to this up to 20, uh, April 20, 2020, uh, there's still not clear uh, advantage of of uh, being senior high school graduates over uh, over grade 10 or, or over uh, uh, or compared to second year college. The other thing that we I'd like to highlight is the type of employment. So in terms of wage employment, grade 10 are performing better than second year uh, than than than. Uh, than grade 12, which of course is performing better than uh, if that's uh, if, if that's the criteria. In terms of self-employment, the second year colleagues are performing better than than uh, grade 12 and, and, and grade 12 performing better than grade 10. So, so this is an unfolding story that uh, we would like to 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 continue to study because until we such time that we'll know where what's the niche of, of the senior high school graduates in the labor market. So uh, we we would like to uh, end with uh, saying that that uh, we should remember that that the employment of our graduates is not only the problem of the school system, but uh, but also the firms, and of course the society as uh, by implication society in general. We hope that these studies has clarified for us some of the emerging uh, uh, emerging trends. Uh, from the labor market on what has happened to our senior high school graduates and, and inform us and, and, and make us decisions in terms of uh, adjustments we need to do in the senior high school curriculum, in the firm hiring, and even in the preparation of, of in the regulations, government regulations relative to, uh, uh, to employment uh, for uh, uh, differentiating, for instance, the junior high school from senior high school, which we thought by the time when the, study, when the study was done was not yet very clear. I, I think I, 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 that's my last slide. Thank you.